What's up everybody and welcome to Weekly Code Quickies. I'm your host Norbert BM and today we have a really exciting episode because React 19 is upon us and is bringing us exciting and helpful new updates. React 19 will bring us one of the biggest changes in React ecosystem and that will change the way we write code in the future. Today we will take a first look at the React compiler and actions coming soon to React 19. So what is the compiler? Well, no longer just a research project, React compiler will now be a fact in React version 19. Having a compiler just like Svelte or Vue will make React much faster by compiling your code into regular JavaScript, meaning also less work for us developers. Now the compiler is already powering Instagram.com in production. So it's not just something that is going to be thrown out there, but it's already working. And they are working on shipping the compiler across additional surfaces at Meta and to prepare the first open source release. So what the heck is that compiler? What is the big news here? What is so great about the React compiler? What kind of problem does it actually solve? The compiler solves the following problem. The problem is that React can sometimes re-render too much when the state changes. So the solution so far is was for manual memoization, meaning that applying use memo and use callback and the memo APIs to manually tune how much React will re-render on state change. And as you know, that was a huge pain in the woohoo but manual memorizing is annoying. It clutters up your code, is easy to get wrong and requires extra work to keep up to date. So this is where the compiler comes into play. The React compiler is able to compile code safely by massaging both rules of JavaScript and the React rule. Now I will give explicit code examples for both the compiler and the actions when I'm going to release the new video on how to use the new React features in version 19. This is going to come to YouTube. And in this tutorial, I will create some examples on how to use the React use hook that can sometimes replace the use effect hook, for example. So stay subscribed for notification on that one. Now, next up, let's talk about React Actions, also coming to React version 19. The React dev team is currently exploring solutions for sending data from client to the server with server actions, meaning they will be able to execute database mutations and implement forms by extending APIs to support data handling in client only applications. Actions will allow you to pass a function to DOM elements, such as a form, and the actions function can operate synchronously or asynchronously. You can define them on the client side using standard JavaScript or on the server with the use server directive. When using actions, React will manage the lifecycle of the data submission for you, providing hooks like use form status and use form state to access the current state and response from the form actions. Really briefly, the use form status hook provides status information of the last form submission where the use form state will create component state that is updated when a form action is invoked. But as I said previously, more on React version 19 in a practical tutorial video coming later on the channel. But these were just my thoughts on React version 19 and I would love to hear yours. So leave them in the comment section below. If you want to read more about React version 19, there is a link in the description below, which will lead you to my blog post, also containing this cool little presentation. So check it out. Now, with this being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Norbert BM, wishing you happy coding and catch you next time. Bye-bye.